Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with another website mentor video. I'm gonna jump right into this one. This is a simple website for a waste services company in Texas. It's a pretty simple and small website, but I think there's a lot of nuggets we can pull out of it that's gonna be helpful for the website owner and for you guys watching this video. So I like to look at first impressions first, and this is the top of the homepage, you land on it. Uh, my first impression is that the website's pretty plain. There's something about that, you know, that rectangle image on a white background with the simple menu that is very plain. I mean, this is a trash company, so I don't think we need a lot of frills, but I think you could probably upgrade the design to give this a little bit more professional look. I do like the truck image, like right at the top of the homepage or right kind of after you scroll because it shows the trucks, the dumpsters, the entire company is kind of on display right in that image. So I think that's strong. It is a little bit out of focus, I think. So there's a little bit of an issue with the image, the branding right at the top of the homepage. You can't even see the name of the company. You see PWS, but it's Parker Waste Services, which you cannot see. So they used to have a big logo here, which I think was a little bit better. So they swapped that out for the truck image, which I do think is strong, but then you lose the branding. So there's a question there. Yeah, maybe you put the logo at the top real big. They actually have it on this page. We'll show you later. So I think this logo is really crisp and strong. Good branding, got the phone number there. So, you know, that could be on the homepage somehow. So one thing I noticed about this website is the navigation is a little bit awkward. And this is really common, even with very simple websites. You have two parent links with one, you know, child link underneath, which I never really like to do because it's a little confusing. I usually don't like to link the parent items because people tend to miss it. But these ones are linked. If you click on FAQ or services, it does go to another page. But I think if you have only one item under the drop down, it's not really worth having it. You should just put it up on the main menu. So I could probably reorganize this to be, I mean, we have how it works here, which I think is a good description of their services. They got the big logo. They have larger images of their dumpster, dumpsters and the, uh, the carts with pricing, which I think a lot of people, people are gonna wanna see pricing, but people might not find this how it works page or they might not go there to find pricing I think this content is really strong, but might get lost a little bit. So I would maybe consider just making the how it works content, the services content. So that if people click on services, they see all that right here. Right now they have smaller images, probably no pricing. And then if they click rent one, then it takes them to the larger item or the larger section on how it works, but you can't actually rent it there. So that's a little confusing in terms of just the uh, flow of the website. If people click rent one now, you probably want them to be able to contact you. So that's something to consider. There's another link down here under FAQ, which makes no sense to have dumpster rental guidelines underneath FAQ. I'd probably just delete that. Notice they have it right here. That's fine if you have to have it on the website, but it looks like info you could just email to people after they rent a dumpster. So maybe it's just extra to even, even have it on the website at all. So we'll scroll down the homepage and you see the service section I just showed you. Then there's this about section with just a couple sentences and then a big blank space. So it's almost like there was an image here and it's gone, but that kind of speaks to the fact that they are missing the any imagery of their company. Um, except for the trucks images, which again is strong, but for any companies like this, small businesses, medium businesses, service businesses, I think it's great to have images of the owner, the employees, just to kind of give it more of a personal feel. I did a whole video on including personal images on your website. So I think there should be more, you know, strong images of the company here on the about page or this about section. They don't even have an about page, but they have an about section here. So this could definitely be built out a lot more. I mean, they've been around since 2016. So there's probably a lot of history and images that they could share here. But I think people are probably wanting a little bit more here. Not to mention that the, the big space here is obviously super awkward. You got this little section here with uh, 2016 year established again, Monday through Friday pickup days, three dumpster options. So, I mean, those are little uh, blurbs that are fine. They're a little misaligned. So... This is a Wix site that's kind of free form, drag and drop. So people tend to not line things up, which just ends up looking a little unprofessional, but no big deal. They do have one testimonial here. I'm sure they have a lot more they could display having been around for several years. So it'd be awesome to get more testimonials on this website. 
And then they have a contact form, which is at the bottom. Um, you know, they do have links at the top. If you click about, it just jumps to the about section. Contact jumps to the contact section. I noticed they have an upload file here, an option on the contact form, which is kind of a security issue. Probably just take it off if you don't need it. Maybe they do have a reason for uploading or for needing form submitters to upload a file, but something to look into. One thing I noticed about this as well is the location is a little bit vague or not even mentioned. Parker Waste Services, I think somewhere they mention Parker County in Texas. Parker County is in the testimonial. Other than that, it's there's no strong statement about what they do or where they do it. So, uh, you know, I love to have a statement like that at the top of the homepage. People are kind of guessing, you know, it's trash, uh, waste services, but you don't know where unless you're reading into the area code or clicking around. Um, yeah, it's hard to find. So the location should always be kind of very obvious on the homepage. So in terms of contact options, again, they have the contact form and the phone number. So that's no big deal. You know, I might have them again. I think they have it again at the bottom. No, they don't have it at the bottom. So having that again in a few spots might be good. I mentioned the navigation. And then if we click on frequently asked questions, they just have a few questions here. I love having frequently asked questions because it's a good way to answer a lot of questions that your visitors are going to have. Probably get rid of the background image in the background. It's already making me a little bit a little bit dizzy with that thin font. Um, so probably not necessary to have a, all this text on a background. And then you got the logo hiding back there, but no logo on the homepage that, you know, in a big strong way. So the last thing I like to do on these website mentor videos is look at the website really quick in the mobile view. I just shrink the browser usually to kind of get a quick view of this. This is a Wix website again, and it is, I know Wix has a pretty good mobile editor. I've actually done a video on that uh, years ago. And I'm sure it's even improved since then, but this website is not changing on mobile. I even looked at it on my phone and it is not changing like to a different version. It's just showing the full website, you know, pinch and zoom. So. I would say it's not even mobile friendly right now. So that's actually a pretty big deal. And then again, I know you can kind of fix that pretty easily with the Wix uh, website editor. So that would be something for this website owner to definitely look at. But if you have a Wix website, make sure to check it on mobile, use their mobile editor to get the website working on mobile, make sure it's looking nice and functional. I'll link to that video I did on the Wix mobile editor. Again, that was a few years ago, but it'll at least give you a kind of an idea of how that works. So those are the few things I found on this simple website. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any comments for this website owner, uh, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'm sure they'll find it helpful. If you want me to review your website, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll check it out and consider it for a future video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.